Um, for this one, I'll be showing you guys how to go about adding drop downs to your product page. Um, drop downs are really good if you have like a ton of information on your product page. You need to break that up so it's easier for your customers to um, find certain information and really understand your products before making a purchase. All right. So if say you have care instructions or a size chart or uh, maybe special shipping or pre-order instructions, this is a great way to kind of segment everything and make it easy to understand and read. All right. So um before we get started uh, you got to make sure you have plain jane 2.0 or plain jane interactive unfortunately if, if you have plain jane starter this feature is not um in your version of the theme you're gonna have to upgrade to 2.0 or interactive um and if you're looking for a discount to to upgrade um just contact our live support um on our website and uh, someone from our team can help you out with that all right so uh, without further ado let's get straight into it make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and let's get started all right, guys, so we're going to be looking at our Yeezy uh, concept store example again. And as you can see here, we have care instructions. And if you click on this, you'll see it expand and you'll see the text here. Scrub it, right? So um, I'm going to show you guys how to go about doing this, how to add multiple drop downs, how to add text, um, you know, that's unique to each product um, within your drop downs, as well as how to add images, like say for like a size chart or um, whatever else you might come up with. All right. So, um, first off, let's go to our Shopify admin panel. Um, and once you're here, you want to click on the settings cog from the menu here. Uh, my face might be in the way, so I'm, um, we'll be right here in the bottom left corner. So you click on settings from here. going to click on custom data down here and then you click on products. And as you can see, we have our care instructions right here. So we're going to add two new product meta field definitions. All right. So one is going to be for our uh, size chart image. And then the second is going to be for uh, let's do maybe like shipping details. That's more of a text based thing. All right. So let's do shipping details. Right. And you're going to ignore all this suggested standard and just click on where the pencil is and you're good. And then from there you want to do select type. Okay. You select type and then the, you're going to click on this multi line text. Whoops. Yeah. Multi line text. Once that's done, you can ignore everything else here and just hit save. Okay. And now let's do it one more time. We're going to click add definition. This time we're going to do sizing. Just put sizing chart. And then for this, we are going to put, let's see. Oh, sorry. I actually click the pencil here. Ignore that. And then for select type, we're going to use the page. All right. So if you want to do an image, don't use file um, or anything else. You're going to want to scroll down and click on the page and I'll explain how this works in a second. All right. And you're going to leave it on one page and then hit save. All right, cool. So once that's done, you're going to want to X this out and go to your products. And we're going to work with this product one since, you know, we already we're looking at this from before. Um, and once you get here, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see your meta field here. OK, so you can see care instructions, scrub it, shipping details. Um, let's see We can just something stupid here um you'll get it when you get it yeah, and a lot of people might be pissed off at that um yeah you'll get it when you get it cool and then i'm gonna hit save and we'll come back to sizing chart i don't want to confuse you guys um so once you do that you're gonna go to your customizer. So we're going to go to online store and then hit customize. Then hit this drop down at the top here and then click on products right here and then default product. All right, cool. So we already have our care instructions um, drop down here. So if you want to add a new drop down, you want to look to the left hand side and click on add block. And then from there, you want to add the product accordion block. 
All right. Right now it says additional info. That's just the default. Um, we're going to update this in a second. So right here, you can name this whatever you want. Um, we're going to name this. Let's see. Shipping details. Okay. And we're going to see where it says drop down description, right? We're going to erase everything in here because this makes it not dynamic. All right. So I'm going to erase everything here. And then we're going to click on this connect dynamic source cylinder icon up here. This is really important. And then you're going to go to this drop down and click current template product. And then you'll see the different things that we made here. So we're going to do shipping details here. All right. And once you click on this, you should see you'll get it when you get it. So really good stuff. Um, one thing to keep in mind is when you add a product accordion, this is being added to all of your products. OK, so you can't have it to where you have um, two drop downs on this product and then five on another one and one on a different one. This is across the board. OK, so I always recommend making your drop downs kind of pretty broad in general and um, you're going to want to make sure that you for each product that you put something here. OK, so, for example, if I go to the next item now, right, we have care instructions for this one, which was, uh, let me say, again, yeah, self cleans. OK, but if you look at shipping details, nothing comes up. And that's because if we go back to. Let's see. Let's go back to our products and go to this product 10 here, scroll to the bottom. We have nothing input here. So for example, if you don't have anything to put for shipping details for a particular product, you can put something like N slash A, you know, um, that way no one's confused if they don't see it opening, right? So we can hit save. And now if we go back, I uh, need to probably save and refresh this. Let's save, allow it to refresh. Yep, now you see N slash A instead. Self cleans. All right. So there's that. Um, now let's go and add in our uh, size charts. Okay. All right, guys. So we're back in the Shopify uh, admin panel. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our products. Click here. Um, and product one, just so I can show you guys something really quick. Um, scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see where we left off. If you click on sizing chart, you'll see that it's asking you to select a page. If you remember, when we set up this meta field definition for sizing chart, instead of doing multi line text, we clicked on page instead. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go and create a brand new page. This is all gonna make sense in a second. So we're gonna go to online store. We're going to click on pages and we're going to create, we're going to do add a page in the top, right? Okay. And from here, we're going to name this sizing chart. Oh, all caps. Hold on. Sizing chart. Cool. And the way I like to do a sizing chart, especially, um, you know, with drop downs like this, I like to use the insert table thing here. So I'm going to insert a table and let me add some rows, insert row below, row below, row below, just do like four rows and let's have like three columns. Uh, and we want more column and you can click and drag here. If you want to readjust these, click and drag, click and drag. We want to try and get them kind of proportional. It's a little bit too much. All right, cool. I'm going to put sizing here. Um, down here, I'm going to put small, medium, large, and then USA, maybe UK, and let's say Australia. 
all right this i'm not saying this is correct at all i'm just you know winging it putting whatever here um small let's just say like a 7.5 shoe or nah let's do like 5.5 is small you can say like a nine is medium and say 12 is large okay then uk you know you guys do sizing kind of different maybe it's like 32 36 and 40 or something in australia i don't even know if they even do it differently in australia uh i'm just gonna put whatever here you guys can correct me in the comments i don't know um this is just for example's sake so once we get all that done we're just gonna hit save all right and we're gonna go back to our products go to product number one again and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see the sizing chart here select page and we're gonna select sizing chart and then hit save now if we go back to our web page uh actually no can't do this yet this is refresh this yeah it shouldn't be there we need to go back to our customizer actually refresh this just to be sure okay and we don't want to add another block okay so we're going to add another product accordion here Cool. So additional info. Um, and then we're going to do connect dynamic source and then sizing chart. So before I click this, let me explain something really fast. So see where it says drop down description here and drop down page. If you just, if you do description here, this is going to be on every single product, right? This description. Same thing with this drop down page. If you connect a page here, it's going to show up on every single product page as well. If you want them to be unique and you want something different for each um, product page, for each product, and you want to pull from what we did over here, like you'll get it when you see it, or you'll get it when you get it, uh, the sizing chart page, scrub it. You're going to always want to connect it to a dynamic source. Okay. So. Uh, right here, we're gonna connect to the dynamic source, do sizing chart, and let's rename this really fast to sizing, that's all caps, sizing chart. Okay. Um, and if we click on this, we should get our chart. What's perfect, we see this please place details here. You're gonna wanna erase this, go back to it. You're going to always want to erase this description here okay because this is going to be put on every single product now if you if you have standard kind of like rules for all of your products you can just come straight here and just add whatever you want to add in and create as many product accordions as you need and you know go about your day and that's fine but if you know each of your products are a little bit more unique um, and you need each of these categories to say something different you're going to want to connect it to a dynamic source okay so for the, for text is what we discussed before doing this and going to product and finding the text here shipping details or care instructions um whoopsie and for drop down page um you want to well let me remove it again and show you guys again you want to click this connect dynamic source here and then click sizing chart and that's about it all right, so hopefully that makes sense and that's cleared up a lot of uh, confusion. So let's hit save. Um, now, let me do, let me show you guys one more thing. Let's add like an actual real image rather than a, than a table. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our Shopify panel and uh, let's go back to our page, right? So let's go to online store, let's go to pages and we're going to go to our sizing chart again and we're going to delete this, okay? Um, and we're going to instead insert image. And let's do, let's just say this image, right? Let's insert this image. And see how massive this is? You could barely even see it in here. You're gonna to wanna to double click on the image and change this from original size. I like to go with product thumbnail 
around that 240 pixel mark and then click edit image save and then if we go to our product here and refresh all right size and chart you'll see the image pop up here okay so it's pretty simple whatever's gonna whatever shows up here is going to be whatever is on the new page that we created essentially okay um outside of that uh if you want to you know the spacing between these different drop downs if you want to adjust that we have this accordion margins here if you move this down we'll move it closer up and you can go through each product accordion and you know make sure they're kind of all around the same so it looks pretty uniform and we have another one for mobile here um, but yeah that's about it when it comes to product drop downs hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you guys all right so yeah that's about it guys um, if you have any more questions um, feel free to go to our website at www.openspaces.design and if you look in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a live chat options so you can talk with someone from our team directly um, between the hours of 10 a.m pacific standard time to 6 p.m uh, someone will be there to answer whatever questions and help you guys out um, or alternatively if it's after hours you can go to our discord um, it's free to join i'll leave a description in the um or I'll leave a link in the description below um, and you can go to the theme help channel and um, you know post up your question um, or look through what's already there Chances are someone's already asked a question similar to yours, and there's probably an answer there already. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, hopefully this helps you guys out, and until next time, peace.